Well, philosophers have been trying to figure out what the mind is for thousands of years. And only very recently did we have any technology or any science that could really help with this. And philosophers still haven't figured out whether they like this or whether they feel that their questions are being taken away from them. Uh, I'm one of those who thinks that this is a good thing, that we're actually uh, embarking on a much more interesting investigation than the old philosophical one, because we have all these lovely tools which really do open our eyes about how the brain works and hence how the mind works. Now we have a soul. That is, there is an organization of our minds that is the, the seat of our moral responsibility. It's what makes us morally special. It's what makes us worth loving uh, and worth holding responsible. But it isn't immaterial. It is an organization of cells, material cells. And what is a cell? A neuron, a glial cell. What are these cells in, in the brain? They're little robots. They're little bio-robots. Each one of them is as stupid as can be. Uh, and not a single one knows who you are or cares. But the team, that's you. The team is your soul. So I think if there is a gene for religion, I've probably got it. Uh, the trappings of religion, the rituals, the music, the art, have played a pretty big role in my life. But the doctrines, not at all. I think that they're just uh, frankly incredible and preposterous. Spiritual people approach life with a certain awe and a certain humility and a certain readiness to suppose that they don't understand it all yet, that there are things that, whether they are strictly speaking incomprehensible, at least they don't comprehend them yet, and they may never. If that is what you mean by spirituality, it seems to me that um, science at its best is then a, a very spiritual, very spiritual.